Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Golden Gate Fields here on Sunday. It is May the 1st, 2016. I'm going to look at the stakes races. Before we get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseracingKid5 for more selections. It's the final day of the Turf Festival, and I think it's a, it's been quite successful. That uh, yesterday's card was, you know, pretty amazing. Uh, San Francisco Mile, that's going to be, that, that was a great, great, great race. Um, but I'm going to look at the um, stakes races, races 6 and 8 on the final day of the Turf Festival. Um, so yeah, let's, so let's get on to it. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Hopefully, hopefully you know that. But today's sixth race is the Silky Sullivan Stakes purse hundred thousand dollars for Golden State eligible uh, California bred three year olds. We have a field of nine three year olds traveling the distance of ground of one mile on the turf course. A very nice race here. A mile they're uh, they're going. And my top selection here is going to be the six horse, who is. Um, Gold Rush Dancer. Got to key that horse on top here. Of uh, I'm, I'm actually going to do a straight uh, super effect. Got about that. Going to go six. Uh, I'm going to go um, six four nine seven six four nine seven. Here in race six from Gold Gate Fields, but number six, Gold Rush Dancer at eight to one. Fla Flavian Pratt on this one. Um, last time out, ran at San Nita on the slop, six and a half furlongs in the Echo Eddie Stakes on San Nita Derby Day. Their second by uh, four and a quarter lengths that day. Got the lead uh, towards the you know the mid portion of the race, and then he just and then he got taken over by the winner Tough It Out. Um, you know, but um, you know he just got second that day. He held on second. Source has never run on turf, but he's run on since that. You know, I think the synthetic races are a good indication of how the horse is, uh, is how the horse is going to do. Uh, but start before the uh, Echo Eddie was in the same pa San Pedro uh, for eighty thousand at San Anita six furlongs. Horse finished fourth by five and three quarter lengths that day, just weakened a little bit. Um, and then the Gold Rush Stakes here at Golden Gate Fields uh, back in December, the horse finished fifth by seven and a half lengths. You know, he just gave away, and it was no threat in the Golden Nugget Stakes back in um, November. Also, you know, I think the horse could really, if he gets a good lead, you know, good. Late uh, kick run. I, I think this horse could really, you know, go and run well. He did win at the distance of a mile 16th at Emerald Downs on the dirt, uh, you know, in one of the 60,000 stakes races. Horse won by five and a half lengths was an easy, uh, uh, easy victory for this horse. So gonna go with this one. So recap my bets for race number six from Golden Gate Fields. It's the Silky Sullivan Stakes. I'm gonna go with the six horse here. I'm gonna do Super Factor here. Six four nine seven. Six four nine seven. And race number six. So now let's get on. To race number eight. We're going to skip over to race number eight here from uh, uh, Golden Gate Fields. And the eighth race is the mm, Campanella Stakes. We'll, we'll go with that. Um, uh, purse $100,000 um, for Phillies at three olds. We have a field of 11 horses traveling one mile. Probably the, the, the uh, field size for Golden Gate. It's been pretty good on turf, I must say. One mile they're traveling. We have a field of 11, like I said, and uh, I'm going to do uh, uh, an another super here, I'm going to give you my top selection, who's going to be the 8 horse, number 8, who is, how unusual, I'm going to put that horse on top here of a super fact, I'm going to go 8, 5, 10, 6, 8, 5, 10, 6, but number 8, how unusual, 4 to 1, Stuart Elliott on this one, Last time, uh, previously trained by Barry Abrams, not trained by uh, Tim Yakin, um, but last time out on the 9th of, uh, of April, Sandy on a yielding turf course, a very, very, very wet turf course. If it was in, if it was in Europe, uh, it would probably be a heavy turf course, but um, in the Provencia Stakes at Mom 8th, the uh, Grade 3 Provencia Stakes at Sandy. So we're spent 7 by 3 quarter lengths, you know. He, he was he was uh, four wide to the stretch and just had nothing that day. I don't know about the turf course. Um, then at Sandy on a good turf course, last two starts out been on wet turf courses. Uh, one mile in China Doll Stakes for 80000 uh, This horse finished uh, eighth by th uh, three lengths that day. If you remember that race, that was just an all-out finish. So, you know, it, it, it was just all-out. Um, and then going downhill in the main special way at San Diego, this horse won by three quarters lengths. Get Stuart Elliott on today. I think this horse will really do uh, well. Um, Stuart Elliott's been on for his last four. Been training at San Diego on the dirt. Five front workout in a minute and... Uh, Three fifths of a second, the seventh best workout at 39, and a five front workout at 101 and two fifths of a second, 29th best out of 54. You know, 
On turf, this horse is 4-1. and one. Like I said, that uh, one win came down the hill, Sanita. I think he should do well here. 4-1, to one, like the price. So to recap my bets for race, number 8 from Golden Gate Fields. Going to go with the 8 horse. Going to do, uh, uh, what do you call it, Superfecta here. Going to go 8-5-10-6. 8-5-10-6 and race number 8 from Golden Gate. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.